going on in boxing. I appreciate those who tapped in, those who are on their way. What's going on? Let me straighten him out. Um, first, I want to get it out the way. They saying that maybe a match between Shakur Stevenson and Vasily Lomachenko. I would love to see that. I would love to see that. Um, I think that would be a great fight. It makes things interesting at 135 pounds. You know what I mean? Makes shit interesting at 135 pounds. Nice little mix up going, especially especially after seeing what he put Devin Haney through. It'll be interesting to see what he put Shakur through. Um, two great fighters, two great southpaws. Interesting matchup. I would love to see it. Also, I seen a post today. I don't know how true it is, but Clarissa said, Clarissa, Clarissa Shields, I'm sorry. Clarissa Shields said that she would beat Keith Thurman. I don't like shit like that. I don't like. I get where she where she coming from, but I don't like the fact that people entertaining it. I don't like the fact that, you know, what I mean, they people would even try to set some shit up, some shit up like that, where they would have a woman fighting a man, and then if something bad happens, Keith Keith Thurman would look like the bad guy. I don't like that at all. You know what I mean? So I think they should chill on that. Um, that's just my opinion. In other news, Wallow exposes a text message, personal text message, not a DM, a personal text message between him and Terrence Crawford, where he asked, he asked Terrence Crawford, you know, I guess will he fight boots or whatever? And his reply is like, you know, y'all want to see another dead body, I guess, like. He talking his shit. You know what I mean? As he should. He a fighter. Um, and then Wallow put it out there. For one, fighters. Fighters, even though we talk our shit, it still, it still is a level of respect in the game that we have for each other. And Terrence Crawford didn't take a liking to it. Because <laughs> my shit, my shit is Greek in the front, so... You know what I mean? And I don't like my shit pressed too hard. I don't like my line. I'm 36, bro, so my shit be sliding back a little bit. I don't want my shit pressed out. But um, I understand Crawford not taking a liking to it because it was a personal text message. First of all, it was between me and you. It was between me and you. We talking our shit, whatever. And I get it while I was trying to congratulate him, but at the same time, cook something up between him and Boots. I understand where he was coming from with that part. But then when you post it, ah, that part I ain't, that part I feel like boxing didn't need. It was, a, it was a bit disrespectful. And it was disrespectful because it was between two men. It was a conversation between two men and it shouldn't have got, it shouldn't have got out there like that. Appreciate that. It shouldn't have got out there like that. Um, no, to say a dead body, but that's just, he not saying it like, I mean, like I knocked him dead, he a dead body, he done now. He was just saying it like, I mean, you see what I do, like, you know what I'm saying? You gonna see that again? It wasn't, it wasn't like out of, you know, like on some fuck Earl Spence type shit. It was just like, you see my work, bro. And it was, it, it's a, it's a, it's men challenging men because you gotta remember, Wallo from Philly, and he asking him about a Philly fighter. And Bud only going to stand on 10 toes and say, well, shit, which I want to see a dead body. It's it, it's the same thing Boots would have said. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, it wasn't supposed to get posted on social media. But Wallow does not understand boxing etiquette. To him, to 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 Wallow, you got to understand. Wallow is like, uh, how, did, how can you say it? Once you get, all right, once you get a podcast... And the podcast go mainstream and shit like that. If this was back in the day, that would be that would be considered a talk show. You know what I mean? And and if you if anybody on here remember a talk show, that's what they do on talk shows. They stir shit up. You know what I mean? But I just felt like that was that was kind of crazy to put that on uh, Instagram and it was a private text between two men 
and y'all talking y'all shit. I get it. I understand it where you, you know what I mean? You trying to hype it up and instigate it and get it going and really press for boost to get the opportunity because we would like to see what that fight would look like. But don't post it. You know what I mean? Don't post it. That's like, that's crazy. You know what I mean? Don't do that, bro. But he don't know no better. You know what I mean? He don't he don't know how serious a thing like that is in boxing. You know what I'm saying? That's the same reason why back in the day you wasn't allowed to to uh No, I didn't say get a pass. That's not what I said. You're not you're not listening to me. You got to listen. I didn't say get a pass. Um and I, and I need y'all to know something. Philly is a small city, but we all ain't like brothers. That's just the name of the city, the city of brotherly love. But I'm, me and Wallow is not friends. Gilly, all right, you know what I mean? But these dudes don't have my number, and we be talking to each other. It ain't like that. Like, if I see, I, I've seen and interacted with Gilly way more than I have with Wallow. I don't really know Wallow like that. Gilly, I don't know Gilly like that, but I know. And you got to remember, they older than me. You know what I mean? They, old, they got me by like 10 years. So... I mean, when I see them, it's a what's up thing. It's not, it's not like, it's not like I be at their crib. They be, they be at my crib. Not, it's not no shit like that. Like people got Philly fucked up when people think Philly is like everybody really brothers. It's not like that. Like motherfuckers don't be fucking with motherfuckers like that. It don't be, you know what I mean? So this is, this is not me saying, this is not me saying, oh, because he didn't know no better, I'm giving him a pass. No, I, he didn't know no better though. He don't know no better. He he geeking. You know what I mean? We call that geeking. Like he just he hyped up about the fight. He like damn. You know what I mean? What you, what's up? You gonna get boots a shot? Whatever. Whatever he said. You know what I mean? But you know what I mean? It's it's just one of them things, man. It's it's one of them things that put a bad taste in people's mouth because now Terrence Crawford looked like a monster because he said, damn, what y'all want to see another dead body? He was only bitten. But the rules is. It was between me and you. That's the whole thing. It was between me and you. It wasn't posted. It wasn't supposed to hit mainstream and be and be posted on, on social media. You know what I mean? On Waka Flocka, million dollar worth of game interview while Wallow said he joined the Illuminati. I don't know. I never met the Illuminati, so I don't know. I don't know if it's real. I I you know what I mean? I see shit and I and I just, you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know what to think about it. it should be crazy. Sad, you got to explain it to these clowns, bro. Yeah, people, but but people don't know. You know what I mean? They think, a lot of people think in Philly, like, everybody is brothers because it's called brotherly love. Like, that's just the nickname for the city. Everybody got, you know what I mean, a nickname for the city, but nah. It's not like that. Like everybody not best friends and shit like that. And this and I and I don't hate them dudes. It's it's just not, but it's not like what people think. You know what I mean? It's not what people think. So you know what I mean? San Diego tapping into the best box. Appreciate you, man. That's love. I appreciate everybody tapping in, man. Um, but it just it just put a bad taste in people's mouth about Crawford. Make him look like a monster, like he don't got a heart, like he don't give a fuck. After him showing all his respects to, to Earl Spence, which he, you know what I mean? I felt like he, I still feel like Crawford a good dude, man. Crawford not, Crawford not no monster. I just felt like he, damn, he was, he was bitten. He was bitten with Wallow and Wallow took it too far. You know what I mean? Wallow just got a little fired up, I think. I think he just was too hype about the situation. He got to assume he the media at all times, right? And that's what and that's what I was trying to say. When when the motherfuckers reach that level, it's like a talk show. And on the talk show, what they do is they stir shit up. So like you just said, you said it a little better for me. You said um, Watson. You said Wallow has his podcast. You got to assume that he the media at all times. Real shit. You gotta understand the media. They gonna twist and turn shit all the time. So you gotta be careful who you talk to, how you say shit. You know what I mean? And and when you say it, you know what I mean? You gotta be you gotta be aware of that type of shit. You know what I mean? But you know, that's what people be on. He should know that as a man, if we be in 100 that you don't post personal messages. Yeah, but but what that shows you is like he really don't give a fuck neither. Like he ain't even think about it. Cause I don't even know if he asked him. I don't think he even asked him. Yo, Greg, this is random, but I just wanna know where were you into rap rap scene back in the day? 
It's Reed Dollars and Bricks. I just respect Philly, so I had to know. Now, I wasn't, I wasn't like never a rapper, and I ain't never really hang around too many rappers, but I definitely used to tune into all that shit. Like, yeah, I was around for all that shit. You know what I mean? My man Knowledge for Life said, go ahead and hit that like button. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, the boy Wallow was wrong for exposing the private convo, but Crawford said what he said, so let's make this fight happen now. Young boy Boots versus Bud, let's get it. At the end of the day, that's what I'm here for. Like, I really, you know what I mean? What y'all think? I think, I already said, I think it's going to be a 50-50 fight for, for, for my reasons of Boots being of youth, you know what I mean? A, a fucking machine, take care of his body, he go hard, the skill set is there, the power is there, but then you got Earl, I mean, then you got uh, Terrence Crawford, where a fucking machine, take care of his body, the experience is there, you know what I mean? He the older man, but the skill set is there, everything is there, the switching is, all the, all the freaky shit is there. I, I want to see the fight, I want to see the fight, I, I hope, I really do hope that Crawford stay down at 147 for one more and that one more be Boots in this. I mean, I do, I do hope that. I mean, and it don't gotta be for all the straps, but you know what I'm saying? Let's get it going. Boots next up. They've been saying it. They've been saying every time he fight, he don't fight nobody. All right, so we see what Terrence Crawford, Crawford on the top level is capable of. Let's see what Boots is capable of. I mean, that's the big question. That's the big fucking question. You know what I mean? Let's get it. At the end of the day, let me see. Crawford said what he said, but you don't ever post profit. And I agree. I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have posted that myself. People overreacting to Bud beating Spence, saying he's better than Mayweather. Bad motherfucker though. Ah, that's a great argument. And Crawford is close, 40 and 0. Mayweather went 50 and 0. 10 more fights. Hey, what's going to be the argument? Wallow trying to make the fight. I think Crawford showed Earl the most respect he held back towards the end, if you ask me. Yeah, you ever seen anything more grimy in boxing than Bud showing up at the weigh in with the Haynes boxers and the ashy knees? Earl should have faked the injury as soon as he saw that <laughs> with no haircut. Like, fuck it. I think Crawford was mad about the dead body because he seems to to respect Spence even after the fight. He and and that's the and that's what I'm trying to say. That's what I, all right. That's what I'm trying to get into. Wallow don't understand the sportsmanship between fighters. These fight these same fighters. Y'all got to think about it before the fight even got made. Uh, Earl Spence and Terence Crawford both said it that they was talking on the phone about the fight. They have a relationship, even though they had to get in there and swing on each other. They have a relationship, and, and it's like that because even in the amateurs, I mean, you're going to see these guys over and over again, time and time again. You got to box these guys or be around them. You don't even got to necessarily be in a ring with them, but you just be around them. And sometimes certain dudes, they take a liking for certain people because, you know what I mean, of their nature. We all share the same type of nature where we get in there and rumble a motherfucker and then shake his hand when we done. Wallow don't understand that. He don't under, understand the brotherhood of boxing, so... He kind of just went too far. It was just, it was just too far. I just felt like he went he went too far. Appreciate the donation. Do you think there's a better chance of Crawford entertaining a title defense at 147 or chance of him moving up? What would you like to see him do personally? Me personally, I would like to see him fight boots. I ain't gonna lie. I would like I would like to see that. As a, speaking from a fan's perspective, I would like to see that. From a coach's perspective, I would like to see that. You know what I'm saying? A fighter's perspective, I would like to see that. You know what I mean? If we if we can get that going, get it going. Um, but him going to 54 and fighting anybody, I'm still gonna watch it. You know what I mean? David versus Andre, who you got? Benavidez? Yeah, he might. Andre, I ain't gonna lie, Andre can fight, but he's getting older, man. And you know, mm, tough one. Wallow definitely burned that bridge. Yeah, if they want Crawford back on the show. They gonna have to pain. What's popping? Julius Thomas, what's popping? You know you, yo, you know saw country cooking in Philly. Is her food good? Let me know. I ain't going. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. I ain't gonna lie. I never ate there before. I never ate the food. I ain't gonna lie. I never been there. 
these days people record personal conversations. If you're a person of any power, yeah, for sure. Wallow on prison time. He ain't hiding nothing. He put the work on the door. Real shit. Bud would be the favorite, but Boots definitely has a chance. I feel the same way. Meek first, then Wallow. I'm starting to think Philly dudes can't hold a secret to save their lives. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, man. It's a lot going on, man. I think I think sometimes the momentum. I think what it is sometimes the the momentum of uh, all the energy and all the shit that's going on in the. I call it the tabloids because I'm an old head. That's what it was called back in the day. The tabloids, all the shit going on in the tabloids is like they can't handle it. Like they just get get fired up and start like oh, like me. I don't know, man. I be having listen. I be having conversations with people. I got some texts in my phone, some guys that y'all like, some guys y'all be talking about, and I ain't talking about Philly dudes. I would never post no shit like that. You know what I mean? But people, I don't know, people lose control sometimes. Tuning in from uptown. What's popping? Fix electronics. What's going on? You not fighting boots at 147. Yeah. I, like I said, I don't think it's a ha it'll happen, but I would like to see it. How does that fight play out between boots and Crawford? What does Boots need to do to pull off the upset? Boots, on some real shit, Boots got to be, Boots just got to be sharp and take his time. Can't rush. At the same time, Crawford, I feel like Crawford would have to try to make it a, 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 a interest, I mean, an a, a interesting fight, but in a way where he got to, he got to force a fight out of Boots. And I mean, like a dog fight. He got to force like a dog fight out of Boots where it get ugly. Crawford, to me, would have to make it an ugly fight. You know what I mean? From what I see from both, both guys, Crawford would have to make it an ugly fight, and Boots would just got, would just have to stay sharp. Boots stays sharp the entire fight. He could pull the decision because he got the hand speed, the reflexes, and all that to keep control throughout the fight. You know what I mean? How long can Boots stay at 147? I think Boots got like another two years. Like, a, like from this date right now, two years. Maybe a year and a half. I don't know. Maybe, but I'm going to say two years because he only, he what, 26? Probably like 26, 25, 26. Salute, G. I think Bud versus Boots take the names away. It's the best style match of all time. Yeah, that's like, that's what I'm saying. That's a crazy fight, bro. If Bud beats Boots, is he the best welterweight of all time? It's hard to say that. It's hard to say that, man. I, I say I say this. He a great, he a great motherfucking fighter for sure. All right, let's see where we at. Thurman in the way. Boots need a good, meaningful fight to get a shot at the throne. Real shit. But, they, I mean, but he already what? IBF number one? I like Wallow, but that was some sucky stuff. Uh, trust betrayed forever. That wasn't G at all. I agree. I think Boots got the skills, but the power isn't the same, and the strength is different. But let them run it, and let's find out. Yeah, that's my whole thing. We got to see. I mean, I see what I see. I know what I know, but I would really, I need to see that. It's thirsty for Wallow to expose a man's text message. That's female slash untrustworthy type ish. I agree. Respectfully, I don't want to see another dead body and boost my guy. Ah. Not to mention ARF snitching on itself. I just feel like boots don't make money sense. Boots don't make, I mean, I. I kind of disagree with that because once you say them two is fighting, that shit is on. I thought Wallow was a street ninja. He knew better than that. These 2023 men becoming more and more like women. I think what it is, bro, a lot of people just affected by the internet and how the internet is ran. If, 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 you, if you look at the world, man, what's the first thing you do when you wake up? First thing you do when you wake up, stretch, ah, reach for the phone. Grab the phone, you checking all the, you trying to see where all your messages at, trying to see who called you, trying to see who DM'd you. And then once you get on the DM, John, you in the Instagram, is on. You know what I mean? The phone is, the phone then had it, got everybody on some other shit. And then when, and then when you had people start recording their cribs and they showing you everything, every car they got, they trying to, they show you where they lay their head. Shit got crazy. You know what I mean? I felt like COVID helped with the exposure. Like we need, we need a way to to get in. Like everybody, because they felt like they couldn't come outside. I was, I was still outside. I didn't give a fuck. I still came outside during COVID. But motherfuckers felt like they really shouldn't be outside and couldn't come outside. Hey, they see what they start doing? Getting on their phone, getting their phone in the house, going live, 
Motherfuckers showing everything they got going on. So now it's like, if you fast forward it right now, people like, what you hiding? Like now the thing is like, don't hide nothing. But it's like, that might be the very, the very thing to get me put in jail or the very thing to get me robbed or, but ah, uh, this, shit, this shit crazy, bro. <clears throat> uh, they match up. Well, what boots gains in age? Gains in age, Crawford gains in experience. So it, it is down the middle. That's why I said it's 50 50 fight. If you ask me, Boost can't beat, but slash Boost don't even think think in the ring. I don't know, man. Earl going to block that fight with that rematch. Spence versus Virgil Ortiz, 154, Cowboy Stadium. That's a good joint. That's, I like how you thinking, King. Floyd stayed away from them southpaws. Crawford, a two way undisputed, and Boost. Just started headlining last two fights. Don't think he ready. I it's some of that. It's I believe some of that, but it's like, all right, if we put boots in there with Stanny Onis and he fucks Stanny Onis up, or like Rashidi Ellis, or like Thurman, if he if he if he fuck any of them up, it's gonna be like he ain't fighting nobody. He caught Thurman late. Stanny Onis too small. Everybody gonna just keep saying all this crazy shit. So I say fuck it. Give him Crawford. He earned the rank. The boy, what, 31 and 0? Give him the right. You think Lomo has a couple of fights left in him? Yeah, I think Lomo definitely got a couple fights. Real shit. That joint would be like B Hop versus Andre Ward. Would three time undisputed put Crawford over Mayweather all time? Mayweather. Mayweather is a great fighter, but Mayweather is also an act. Like, and he sucked. He sucked a lot of people into making them think that some of them fights was big fights. Like when he fought, like when he fought uh, Stephen Ortiz. No, not Stephen Ortiz. Uh, Virgil. His name was Virgil too, right? What's his name? Victor. Victor. Not Virgil. Victor Ortiz. Like when he fought Victor Ortiz, I never saw Victor Ortiz really giving him a hard time. Big, strong kid. Yeah, but fucked him up. AOG. I know you've seen that clown Thurman popping off on social media after Spence. It's Bud fight. What you think about Thurman? Truthfully, my guy, he's a good fighter in my eyes, but he ducking wreck. I don't, you know what's, what's crazy about Thurman? Thurman been a good fighter ever since the amateurs, right? He became champ, lost to Pacquiao and all that. That's cool. But it's like he just been sitting, and I don't understand that part. I don't know. And it got to be some type of business shit, but then now he acting like he hungry. Now he acting like he want to fight everybody. So we'll, we'll see what's going on, man. I don't, I don't really get it. I appreciate y'all for tapping in for sure, though. We got 466 people in here, 92 likes, few donations. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Much respect for your thoughts on boxing. Thank you. Appreciate that. Tank versus Crawford, similar to Duran versus Leonard. Duran versus Leonard. I don't think that's the same. Tank, Tank really is. Ah, that'll be it. That'll be a good fight. But I don't think Tank will pull it out. I ain't gonna lie, that's a different, that's a different animal, man. Great fight though, different animal. Spence wouldn't be a champion in the Oscar slash Tito era. Tito, Oscar, uh, Corte would all stop Spence as well, but Bud would survive any era. Crawford doesn't gain nothing from fighting Boots at this stage in his career. I understand that the Boots only look good against punching bags. I got Bud by stopping. Ah. Yeah, I don't know. Tank gets a brutal beating messing with Bud. Stay away from Bud. Spence and Crawford both travel. Boots ain't ready, coach. I'm just saying, based off what I know about the kid, OG Greg versus Wallow undercard. Nah, that ain't going to happen. You know that ain't. Come on, man. You know that ain't going to happen. David stopping Andre. Who has the deeper toolbox, Boots or Crawford, in your opinion? Skill-wise, that's, that's why I love the fight. That's why I love the fight, because I really don't know. I've I've watched Boots train. I've never got a chance to see Crawford train. I've seen him fight. You know what I mean? But you remind me of Brother Nazim. No, Brother Nazim was a lot more militant than I am. <laughs> Brother Nazim was different, though. I'll be, I mean, rest in peace, Brother Nazim. I'm an Andre fan. David stopping Andre. Richardson versus Keyshawn. Who you like? Keep Richardson. Richardson Hitchens or 
Richardson and Rich Keisha when we like. That's a good fight. I ain't gonna lie, low key, Richard Hitchens is one of my favorite boxers, bro. Low key though, Keyshawn's one of my favorite boxers. I ain't gonna lie, I like that kid. A lot of shit I had posted private messages. Real shit. Who you like out of Better Be Evan Bivel 50 50? Better Be Evan Bivel could hurt the either guy could hurt the other guy. What's your prediction? No sprints for for pay per view boss. I, I say a million. Wallow doing no boxing etiquette, cool. But what he did was break man etiquette. That's true. That's true. I I I would say he definitely was wrong for that. Next year is Fundora Spence Lumen. What you think? Next year is Spence versus Fundora. That would be crazy. Or Spence versus Lubin. I would rather see Lubin. Yeah, I mean, I would rather see Lubin. Fundora is. I think Spencer getting, but he's a big tall. Oh my God, you never know what he coming to, to bring to the table. Even though he liked the fight, and I think Spencer are working, but that shit is crazy, career wise. And then we don't know if Boots, I mean, if uh, Spence is really okay. We gotta make sure he good, man. Cause I don't want to see that guy get hurt no more. He a good dude, man. What does it takes to beat Boots? I think you gotta. I'm gonna keep it real. I think for Boots, I think you gotta really. Close your eyes, make a wish, and hope and pray that shit happens someday. <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't gonna lie, bro. You gonna have to, you gonna have to make a make a wish and hope you land some clean shit. You gonna have to, you gonna have to hope and pray you land some some crazy shit. Um, how would you advise Scooter and Spence going forward? After lopsided losses in high profile fights, how do you mentally come back from that? Well, you really just got to put it behind you. Yeah, you know I mean, you really just got to put it behind you. That's first of all. Yeah, you know I mean, you got to, you got to. <laughs> His verb is be different. Hey, yo, you got to put it behind you and you got to. I mean, of course it happened, but it's nothing you could do about it. So you got to just get back to the drawing board. For Cool Boy, I would go up to 126, be healthy, you know what I mean? And get sharper, working behind your jab, get that head movement back, you know what I mean? The footwork back, you know what I mean? And stop looking for a fight, you know what I mean? Go out there and box. For for Earl Spence, like I said on the YSM interview, I would... um. I would really, really take up, like, if I was him, I would really take up, like, ballet or something where he could just work on his balance and his breathing and getting his body back together and then breaking him down in camp where, you know what I mean, we taking him back to boxing. Everything ain't about knocking the guy out. Everything ain't about pressing the guy, even though that's one of his gifts. Earl, I believe Earl Spence is a better boxer than he's shown us. Tank going way too... All the other guys announced their fights and find a weak opponent. Boots versus Earl is a great fight. I believe so. Uh, who you think Tank fight next? Seem like nobody want to fight him. I mean, I heard Tank was entertaining. Um, was the kid from New York? Um, Chris Colbert. To be honest, that's a good little. That's a good little scrap. It's a little get. I even though Tank wasn't locked up for years and shit, but it's a good little. You know, get in there and. Find something to shoot at. Something, something that come with a little fancy style. Fast hands. Not a big punch, but you know what I mean? Something, something to shoot at of a, a guy we heard of. I think I think Chris Cobra to take it. Did he ever get, did Boots ever get good work in sparring? Yeah, I've seen him get some good work. I ain't never seen nobody beat his ass though. I ain't gonna lie. I not, I never seen nobody beat Boots' ass. I ain't gonna lie about that. I'm, 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 I'm telling that. I'm giving you that from the, from the bottom of my heart. Like I never, like on some real shit. I never seen nobody beat Boots ass. Damn, I ain't know I had all these messages. Oh shit, I fucked up.
I think I think Crawford got the undisputed. He got they gave him like an undisputed title. I mean, they gave him the undisputed title, but that belt. I don't know if that was the Ring Magazine. Matter of fact, I think it was the Ring Magazine. I like Boots, and I would love to see him fight Bud. But with the momentum punishing Spence, I have to favor Bud on the decision. I understand that. I wouldn't be mad at that. I understand where you're coming from with that. Yo, it's all these messages. My bad, yo. I fucked up. I fucked up. I'm trying to catch up. Salute to you, King. Appreciate you. I need that Boots versus Bud fight. That's all I'm saying. I think that'll be a great jam. Do you think it'll be enough of Charlo left to fight Bud? <laughs> That's fucked up. I think Charlo going to do great with Canelo. Even if he don't win, I think he's going to do great. What's the keys to beat Crawford? Patience. You can't rush with Crawford. You can't, you can't try to go out there and, and outwork him too early and show too much. Because as we can see, as we see, he can hurt you. But if you got good speed and good timing and all that, like Boots do, I think if you take your time and you got to poke at him and you got to get him to make the mistakes, you got to get Crawford to open up. Don't open up before he open up. You You got to get him to open up, but you got to give him a reason too. If you got Boots staying at 147 for one and a half, two years, who from 135 to 140 do you see giving him a challenging fight, assuming they move up? The only one that I see moving up, giving Boots... A good joint is Gary Antoine Russell. And the only reason I say that, because that was the last guy to beat him, even though it was the amateurs. It's the last guy to beat him, it was the amateurs. Now, what I also think though, I think he's too small. I appreciate that, Jackie. I think he's too small. I ain't gonna lie. I think he's too small for boots. Hit the like, hit the like, support my guy. I'm watching on TV and open my app. Hit the like. I appreciate y'all. Monty Coop, appreciate that. Two counter punches in, in a fight are always ugly stylistically. Yeah, but it's going to make for a great fight. Boots and Bud is the fight we thought Bud and Spence was going to have. High level, yeah. Is Clarissa really trying to fight Thurman or is that just promo? I really hope it's just promo. I don't want to see nothing like that. I would I would really be mad at boxing if they let some shit like that go down. I would be pissed off. I really would be. And if Keith Thurman really did get in there and act crazy, I would be pissed off. I like Stevenson, but I never seen him hit. And if he's first time against Tank with them eights, on, it could get ugly. It could. But I'm pretty sure he been hit before. He just never been hit, hit clean. We'll get whooped bad. I said that earlier. Look up. Yeah, I don't think he gets boost now. Shakur gets Lomo out, out of there. They're not going to give him that fight. I think he is going to fight Lomo. I think he is. I like Shakur over anyone at 135. I think boots can go all the way up to 160, 168. I believe so, too. Larissa Trippin even talking about it. Bud and Charlo at 54. Who you got, G? That's a great fight. Listen, that's a great fight. That's a great fucking fight. Uh, Charlo is a big puncher. Charlo carry his power all the way through. I ain't going to lie. Crawford, as we've seen, he, he know how to up his level. He know how to stay focused. He know how to stay sharp. If he can frustrate Charlo, he can make it happen. But if he get caught into a shootout with Charlo, Charlo could get him. It's a 50-50 fight to me. Charlo could get him. You got to respect the undisputed at 154. OG, you right. People really hate on Philly. They really saying Boots going to get hurt. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. People don't understand the work that that kid put in, man. And I understand he's young, and I understand he he hasn't done everything that Bud I mean that Bud's accomplished. But what you have to understand, the only way we'll be able to see it is if you get in the ring. If they get in the ring with each other, we can't just keep talking about it. It don't make sense to just keep talking about it. Like what are we gonna do now? Charlo got no chance. You wrong on that. Hey, that's your opinion. I seen the Charlos in real life. The niggas, they not little, bro. They ain't no little dudes. Bud stopping him early. Y'all think y'all think Bud has stopped Jamel Charlo early? Charlo has been frustrated before. Yeah, for sure. Tony Harrison frustrated him. Not 
not patient enough for Bud. Bud is going to stop that fool. It's crazy Devin lost his belt that fast. What you mean? Devin lost the belt. If Boo stops Virgil, stamp him. That's all I'm saying. Nah, not really. I think Boo to do Virgil just like he did Villa. I ain't going to lie. Did you used to train Fulton? I worked with Fulton for three camps. I worked with him for the Arnold. I worked with him a little bit for... I forgot the boy named Redhead Mexican boy. He stopped him in the seventh with a body shot. I worked with him a little. I worked with him a lot for Arnold Keggy, and I worked with him pre camp for Figueroa, the first Figueroa fight. And that was it. In championship rounds, I could see the stoppage. Boots has a better chance than Charlo. You know one thing I like? You know one thing I like right now? And I, and I think it's funny. Bud is everybody's favorite fighter right now. <laughs> let's, give a, let's give a moment of silence, 10 count for everybody being a Bud fan right now. Starting in three, two. <laughs> Everybody, I feel like right now, I feel like I never seen Bud name so many times. Like, I feel like right now, everybody's a Terrence Crawford fan. Let's get it. He put on it. He definitely put on he, hey, yo, He definitely put on a great show. I ain't gonna lie. But y'all gotta stop, man. <laughs> <laughs> I had to do a moment of silence, man. <laughs> hey, listen, Bud is a monster for sure. He did, he did his thing, bro. But it's crazy how people was talking before the fight, and now it's like, yo. It's like everybody, like, super Bud fans right now. What you think Spence got to do to win a rematch? Do you see him? Having a chance. He got to go back to the drawing board. He got to go back to pacing himself. He got to relax. He got to put some snap on his punches. Earl Spence pushed a lot of his punches. But that's what I was speaking on with the balance. The balance is the reason that's happening. You know what I mean? That's the that's the reason that's happening. His balance ain't too good. So when he jab, he not stepping with the jab. He pushing it out and he falling into it. You know what I mean? So I think he really got to, you know what I mean, work on his balance. And, we, and just go back to the basics. And I and I also think Derrick James need a little help. He need a little help. I ain't gonna lie, cause he got he got he got a lot of tall orders down there, man. He got a lot of big shit going on. And in order to maintain that, need a helping hand. One thing I can say about Bud Crawford, he showed that Bud Crawford got a lot of people working with him and helping him out. <clears throat> nah, Greg, we been a fan. I just learned how to write on this journal. <laughs> I feel you. Stay away from Tim Zhu. Who? Who should stay away from Tim Zhu? Tim Zhu, I mean, I think if you get Tim Zhu out of Australia, he's, he's somebody going to get him. Nah, girl, we've been a fan. I just learned. Yeah, real shit. Y'all funny. Crawford legit hates Mel, too. I think he's going to get clipped with something big and want to really fight Mel. They are Earl Spence refugees. Yo, my man called y'all Earl Spence. Gee, how many miles you run? I be doing three right now. Three my number right now. Bud got 200,000 followers right after the fight. You already know. The world we live in, little bro had to do a 10 count, huh? Definitely need your own channel. Salute. <laughs> hey, bro, I had to give him a 10 count. Hey, Greg, love your boxing knowledge, man. Appreciate that, bro. Hey, yo. I appreciate the love. We got 600 people in here right now. 184 likes. We got some donations popping. I appreciate it. And listen, for those who can't donate to, to the Super Chat or, or, or whatever this joint call, you can hit my cash app, Greg Hackett. I mean, Greggy Cash. Greggy Cash, G-R-E-G-I-E Cash. I appreciate y'all. Thank you. You know what I mean? Since we since we having fun, man, we showing love. Sure, show more love. Shit. Mark my words, Villa. Goes on to be a problem for everyone else, but Boots is, spe Boots is just special. I agree. They disrespected Villa. 
<clears throat> Devin versus Regis. Who you like and why? Great channel. Appreciate that. I ain't going to lie. From the way Regis looked his last fight, feet too slow. He don't have a jab. His arm's a little short. I think Devin Haney box around him for 12 rounds, possibly stop him between 10 and 12. You knew that's how it was going to go. People went from Bud can't beat Khan to Bud can beat to Bud can beat Wilder. <laughs> Hell. Yo, boy, who got the best fight camp right now? I mean, it's tough to say, man. Real refugees. Crazy. Real shit, Greg. Do you have anybody beating Bud no matter what? Uh, listen. When it comes to them skills and shit like that, come to them reflexes and all, I got to go with Boots, man. Him and Boots would be a great fight. You know what I mean? I ain't saying Boots are all out beating, but I think the best shot at him right now is Boots in this. I ain't going to lie. I think the best shot at Bud Crawford, from the way he looked the other night, you know what I mean, he, what he showed us, one thing he showed me was he could, he could tap into that laser focus. He could tap into that, you know what I mean, that tunnel vision, that zone. You know what I mean, not everybody can tap into that zone. I mean, he went out there and got the job done. So, I, well, what I know about boxing, I think, I think Boots would give him a hell of a run, bro. You know what I mean? I ain't gonna lie, bro. Boots got a package, bro. He got a he got a package, <clears throat> bro. Should Crawford get at Boots one forty seven or fifty four? Boots going to be a huge one fifty four. Would you? Would you? What? What day you? What? Tim Hasty, I appreciate the donation. Hey, yo, listen. I think Bud is going to go to 54. Pick up them checks they got waiting for him at 54. I think Boots will make, move up to 54 and they'll possibly fight at 54 if they do fight. I don't see them two fighting at 47. I ain't going to lie. I, ain't, I don't see it happening at 47. I would love for it. I would love for it to happen, but I don't see it. You know what I mean? I don't really got it happening. Hold up. Who we got right here? Hold up. Hold up. Let me go back to this one. Explain your coach's point of view. <clears throat> How did Boo struggle to cut off the ring against Karen with his IQ and athleticism? I don't get it. All right, listen. If you watch the get the if you watch the fight again, Boots didn't have a problem cutting the ring off. The problem was when Boots cut the ring off, Boots was loading up on punches. Boots before that fight was very excited. It was on a very big card. You gotta understand. Imagine, imagine. Okay, so imagine seeing your bas your favorite basketball players, your favorite football players, your favorite actors, your favorite rappers, and they all in a one building and all of them is coming to see you or Tank Davis or both together, right? And then you known for knocking motherfuckers out and you want to put on a great show and you know a knockout is part of putting on a great show. And I mean, that's all that's going through your mind. At the same time, you're still a young, you're a young man, 25 years old. Now, Karen, I don't care what none of y'all say, he wasn't coming to get knocked out. Karen's whole mission was, I'm not getting knocked the fuck out. Y'all tripping. I got kids to go home to. I got, I got kids to feed. I got a wife that I love. I'm going back to my family in one piece. And that motherfucker mission was to stay defensive the entire fight. You're not going, you're not going to load up on me and, and get me the fuck out of here. Now, just so happened, that's what Boots was really focused on. Trying to, and what I mean is, he'll cut the ring off, right? He'll cut the ring off, he'll catch up to him, but then the shot that come out is a, yeah. And then he'll cut a ring off, then he'll, yeah. He'll load up an uppercut or load up a hook, load up a right hand. It just wasn't there for him. Karen wasn't going for it. Karen was not going for that shit. Fuck that. Young boy, you can get this win, but you're not going to knock my motherfucking head off, and I got to ride home in the ambulance. Fuck that. So that's my breakdown on that. And I appreciate the question, free lifers. Hold on, who we got right here? <clears throat> Why people don't put Shakur pound for pound? I'm betting my money on him every fight. Shakur is a hell of a fighter. I don't know why. I, I think Shakur, the only reason he not everybody's favorite fighter, one of the favorites is because he's not knocking everybody out. Appreciate the donation. Uh -uh. Joseph Campbell, appreciate the love, bro. Tell the wife and kids I said hello. <laughs> but that's why, but that's why I said I don't make a pound for pound list because when you make a pound for pound list, bro, is sometimes it's unrealistic. Sometimes it's, it's made full of favorites. Karen was an Olympic medalist too. People don't know that. Yeah, people people think Karen was just some bum ass motherfucker they found from another country. No, a boy really could fight. You know what I mean? And you got to listen. You got to understand. 
Here's where you give the credits to Boots. And I'm not doing this because I know him, but think about it. Think about you chasing a motherfucker around for 12 rounds and not one time did you sit down. And then after everybody was talking shit, you come out there, you fight the same guy that fought, that fought Rashidi. He damn near stopped Rashidi. And then you go in there and beat this shit out of him and then make him, not make him quit, but get the referee to stop it. Come on, man. He learned the kid learned from his mistakes. He learned from his mistakes. He was a little too anxious. He was a little too excited. He calmed down, stayed behind his jab, beat the body up. Got him the fuck out of there. Oh, I don't know, man. I don't know what fighter gonna move up. He's a runner. He's a track star. That's what they said. Next year, Summer Spence versus Lubin. Spence versus Front Door. What you think? I like Spence and Lubin. I like that fight. That's a that's a gritty joint. He was tailor-made for boots, bro. Hey, you can say what you want. The motherfucker's tough. Like I said, like I said on the YSM joint, man. Any of y'all that think this boxing shit easy, take three to four months out of your life, train for a fight, take a fight, and tell me what you think. That's the, uh, that's the Greg Hackett challenge right now. Get ready in three to four months. Get in the gym. Get in some type of shape. Take an amateur fight and tell me what you think. Different style of fighters, Greg. Be serious. Yeah, but he learned from he learned from his mistakes. You gotta watch it. You can tell he learned from his mistakes because he because he calmed the fuck down. Boots was hyped the first fight. He went right out there and threw a big hook from the rip. Boots gets hit clean way too much. Mess with butt. Hey man, like I said, everybody, we gonna have to. You know what, ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate all y'all. It's six hundred twenty three people in here. Two hundred twenty six likes, right? And just last week, not last weekend. Just last week, half of my feet, half of my feet was like Bud going to get knocked out. Big fish. Half of my feet was saying Bud going back to Omaha and this and that. He, he going to have to. It, it was a lot of slander. But this week after the fight, everybody's favorite word is Bud. So what I want to do, ladies and gentlemen... I want to go ahead and take another 10 count for Bud Crawford and all the new Bud Crawford fans. I appreciate y'all. Joseph Campbell, appreciate the love. So listen, we're going to sit here in three, two. I appreciate y'all, man. Hey yo, I appreciate y'all, man. Hey yo, cause when I was saying, when I was saying Bud Crawford, when I first said Bud Crawford was gonna stop Earl Spence, motherfuckers was calling me all kinds of names. <laughs> hey yo, motherfuckers was calling me all kinds of names. They was talking crazy about me. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. They called me a hater. <laughs> They said, they said, man, this motherfucker don't know shit about boxing. Look at his record. He don't know shit. He don't know what the fuck he talking about. <laughs> they like, man, don't feel like niggas be tripping. They be stupid. You know what I mean? And another one. You feel me? <laughs> one time, long ago, there was a guy named Bud Crawford. No one respected him. Not even his own family. But one night, he dared to be great. He challenged the one and only Earl Spence Jr. But little did we know, Bud was ready. But not only was he ready, he dismantled. I mean, dismantled. Did you hear me, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> dismantled Earl, the truth, Spence Jr. Some people thought it was just a dream. Some people didn't even understand what happened. Some people took their bets back. Some people jumped off of bridges. But in the end, Bud Crawford prevailed as one of the best in the world. And now, wherever he goes, he doesn't have to pay for a thing. Bud Crawford, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Yo, yo, 
not gonna give me a fucking heart attack, man. Y'all gotta chill. <laughs> hey yo. <laughs> hey yo. <laughs> hey yo. Y'all gonna kill me, bro. <laughs> you don't know, use on your back. He's saying the juke move went anyway. Stop cool boy. No, when you wait, stop cool boy. What I said I was gonna do. I was gonna come on here the next day and I was gonna right my wrongs. And that's what I did. You know, I ain't run from nothing. I came right on this motherfucker the next day. Come on, man. Y'all gotta stop, man. Y'all gotta stop. Y'all gotta stop, man. <laughs> Y'all gotta stop, man. Real shit, y'all gotta chill. <laughs> y'all gotta chill, bro. It was a lot of people that wasn't fucking with Bud. Now y'all fucking with Bud. Come on, man. Yo, Greg, great show. What chance you giving Charlo against Canelo? He struggled against Castano for pressure. I got a 60-40 Canelo. I think it's gonna be a great fight, though. You can't sleep on Charlo. Trust me when I say that. 168 pounds. Won't be too bad for him. I think he'll actually feel great. I think his energy will be up. You know, maybe because he ain't got to drop all the weight. So, you know what I mean? Big fish in a small pond. It happens like that sometimes. Meet me on the next episode. 24-7. Is your chin in good hands? You know what I mean? Dismantled. Hey, bro, y'all got to chill the fuck out. Hey, yo, man, just last week, like last Thursday, Friday, everybody was a Spence fan. Everybody was talking crazy. The eye collector, all this shit. And I listen, and I said it on interviews. I love Earl Spence. I love Terrence Crawford. I just think Terrence Crawford too much for him when it come down to it. Now, all I see is bud, 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 bud. One day, Bud walked to the store by himself and a man tried to rob him. I heard he, I heard he once killed a man with a wet napkin. Come back on the next episode to find out if it's true or not. <laughs> Yo, this shit crazy, bro. I won 5K. No. For everybody that had but, you know what I mean? But all y'all that jump shit, this the reason big fights don't get made. That's good drink. You know what I mean? Y'all got me in my bag, man. This shit crazy. P Money, what up? Kill the man with a wet napkin. Bud Crawford is so bad, I heard he once robbed the bank with a dirty stare. <laughs> Y'all giving me fucking headaches, bro. <laughs> hey, yo. The eye collector. The eye collector versus the giant fisherman. Who will win? See me on the second episode of 24-7, Bud and Spence. Somebody O has to go. Yo, this shit crazy. Derrick James, I felt like I felt I felt like Derrick James got Earl ready for the fight, but to his best ability, to the best of his ability, and what I mean by that is he I think they really thought that you know everything that they worked on in the past would be enough for the fight with Bud Crawford, but such wasn't the case, and he really didn't have a plan B or C. So when the times got tough, you know what I mean? He was a little frustrated. Earl wasn't listening to because Earl was Earl's brain was in the whirlwind. I ain't gonna lie. Earl Earl's brain was in the whirlwind, bro. And that's why you gotta congratulate Earl. Not because he took an ass from it, not nothing like that. It was because 
going through all that, taking the shots he was taking, the motherfucker still was fighting. He still was trying to fight. But me, myself, if it was me, I would have stopped it after the seventh, after the two knockdowns. Even though, even though it was getting bad in the, the fourth, the, the fifth, the sixth, even though it was getting bad, I would have stopped it after the two knockdowns. The two knockdowns in the same round, I would have stopped it. I'd have been like, nah, that's too much, bro. We're going we gonna to fall back. We're going to go home. We're going to regroup. We're going to get our shit together. And I'll see you in a rematch. You know what I mean? You think Tink would? Yeah, I think Tink will fight fight uh, Bud at forty seven. I think he would. I think he would do it. It's great money in a fight like that. It's great money in a fight like that. <laughs> Real shit. Yeah, I gotta get my waves back. I let my shit get crazy. We back though. Just give me like, give me like, give me like three days. He'll be right back. Don't touch that dial. <laughs> to my stop it, G. What you mean? Nah, we need a whole segment of you doing the voice, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna have to write, I gotta write some shit. Bro, all these conspiracy theories are cracking me up. Greg, who you got? Matias versus Thurman. That would be a great fight. Don't be, I mean, Matias is a monster. You, I can't lie. He he be throwing some crazy shit. But Thurman at the same time, because Matias don't have too much footwork with him, he just looking to bang you out. It's like, it's like Matias is there to be hit. And, 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 and we know Thurman good at, you know, what he do when he come to them legs. Ernest Chinsley. Oh, you want the oh 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 mill? You want the Ernest Chinsley joint? I I gotta go back to the video so I can, <laughs> so I can practice. I was just bidding that day. I gotta see it. Ernest Chinsley the third. Well, listen, ladies and gentlemen, we have been here for fifty-seven minutes, young man. This is what I would like you all to do. I want to take time out for the shout out segment of the live. Let me know what hood you from. Let me know what city you repping. If you want to send a shout out to your kids, your wife, your baby mom, your side chick, your grandma, now is the time. And I'll be sure to try to catch on and make sure I get that shout out out there to you. Let me know. Tank fighting Isaac Cruz, it could happen. We got Queens, New York in here all the way from the fucking... We got North Memphis in here. East Atlanta, Zone 6. Jupiter, Florida. We got Philly in here, of course we do. St. Louis, San Diego. Houston, Texas. Cincinnati, Ohio. We got them in here. They show them big love. Birmingham, Alabama, New Orleans. <laughs> Appreciate the knowledge for us casuals in South Philly. Brick City, New Jersey. Who else we got in there? Let me see. Shit is looking crazy. Baltimore in there. My little cousin, Baltimore, you already know. Badlands of Philly, Michigan, Chirac, Brickyard. Y'all know what it's like uptown. Stop playing with me. <clears throat> Dallas, Texas, South Memphis, Brooklyn, West Bank, Dayton, Ohio. Come on, we got the shout outs going. Miami, Florida, Milwaukee in there. Fordham, Rochester, New York, Savannah, Georgia. <laughs> Y'all gotta chill, man. Texas in this joint, Epstein Island. Yo, he said he on Epstein Island. Y'all got to chill. New Jersey in there. Dayton, Ohio. Savannah, Georgia. PG County. Y'all know about PG. Shotgun in the trunk and all that. Shout out to News. What? New Brick City. Team Shakur. Shout out Coach Dirt. Jersey J. Salute J. Appreciate you. DC in the house. <laughs> Fort Worth, Texas. Cleveland, Ohio. The waves is definitely going to be popping. Jackson, Tennessee. 
dollars by the way of South Philly. Mm, the P. Boy, you got a pocket. What's poppin', Nebraska? We got him in here, y'all. What's your favorite sport? Boxing. Fuck you mean. Nutty block. They got them nutty block balls in there. Chicago, Omaha. <laughs> the trenches, Louisiana. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it up, Jay. You're going to get a call from Showtime to do some voiceover work. Pretty sure. Hey, as long as they pay that right bread, we good to go. Ladies and gentlemen, we got 473 people in there, 296 likes. Let's get them likes up, baby. Y'all slacking on my likes. <laughs> Yo, y'all niggas killing me, man. VA is in a fucking building. Sport God approved. Shout out to Sport God, Chuck Town, South Carolina, Roanoke, Virginia, Jersey City, channels definitely loading, bro. James Barner, shout out to my guy. Does that hurt your voice? Of course not. I can do this shit all night. Andre versus Benavidez. Who you got, G? Well, honestly, Demetrius Andre, I feel like it's starting to be a little bit past his time. But once was a great fighter, an Olympian, still undefeated, former champion. I think he shall be respected. At the same time, David Benavidez is one of the most dangerous fighters in the world at 168 pounds. This won't be easy for either man. This is a 50-50 fight, ladies and gentlemen. I hope this fight happens. <clears throat> this will be great. One for the books. <laughs> Sound like the voice of scary movies. You a foolie. <laughs> Chicago. Hey, yo, I ain't gonna lie, bro. That's why I used to have trouble in school. I'd be in class playing too much. You know what I mean? I used to be in class bed, bro. I couldn't stop. Right now, I got me a little platter from Chipotle. I'm about to go ahead and heat that up. Put a little heat to that, you know? It's a little different when you put the heat to it. He said, why's up? <laughs> Yo, y'all got me on this shit, man. I be trying to chill. Who is bad, but main competition? Charlo, Tim Zhu, Boots, and this. I think the main competition would be... Who is Bud's main competition? I think it would be Charlo right now. That's more like a more realistic fight. He done smoked that fire pack. No, I ain't smoked nine. David Morrell versus David Benavidez. That's what you got. That's a great fight. Are your sons bad? Nah, they, they all right, man. They good kids, man. My son's good kids. Because my oldest son's 16. He ain't out here playing with guns and shit. My youngest son, he like me a little bit. He like to joke around and play a little bit too much at times. But they good kids for the most part. You sitting on the toilet. Fuck no, nigga. I'm in the, I'm in the trap, nigga. I'm on the toilet. What's up with you? What kind of freaky ass question is that, man? What's up with y'all, man? Don't ask me no shit like that. I just said I'm about to heat this platter up. What's wrong with you? If I'm about to heat the platter up, you think I'm gonna heat the platter up from the toilet? What the fuck? You niggas is disrespectful. You niggas is disrespectful, man. Tell me, is, is you on a is you on the toilet? What kind of hey yo, man? Let's take a Let's take a 10 second pause for that pause real quick. In three, two. Fuck you mean am I on the toilet? Like what type? Hey bro, do I call you asking you about you on the shitter bro? Don't ever do that again, man. You gonna make me mad, man. I don't like being angry. You wouldn't like me. When I'm angry. <laughs> the buffer. What's up with he? Hey, buff, you a fucking nut, man. Ask some nut shit like that. <laughs> That's my guy, the buffer. What's up with you? <laughs> he said, well, she told me I'll stop my baby sleeping. <laughs> Yo, you sound like Joe Frazier shout me out. Oh, London is in the fucking house. 
Do you train your sons? They used my sons. My youngest son, when he come down, he, he do a little bit of training. My oldest son, he play football now. My oldest son had enough of me. He ain't fucking with me on the boxing. Yeah, we see him put a boy down in the streets. Let's see if we can get those likes up to 350. I like to kind of like even things out. I appreciate you all. Trust me, I do. And when the time comes, we're going to party like it's 1982. I promise. Tank at the end of the year. Yeah, Tank coming out before the end of the year. Hell yeah, we got like, what, we got like five more months left. If Joe wasn't blind in one eye, he would have been undefeated. Joe? Joe who? What up, GSBTV? Peace and blessings. Appreciate that. Who you got? The big man crawl for the boots. 50-50, I told y'all that. You think Tank versus Bud is competitive? I think it is. Tank, Tank being small and fast like that would make it difficult at times. What's the update on Tank, you think? I think Tank going to fight mm, October or November. Legend has it, Tank was still getting his reps in while he was incarcerated. You think Abdullah Mason has Shakur Stevenson type upside, or is it too early to tell? Uh, Shakur Stevenson and Abdullah Mason do have similarities because Shakur is one of the styles. Shakur's style is one of those styles that guys mimic, but Abdullah Mason can fight. But I think, honestly, I think Abdullah Mason is going to be a 147-pounder to a 54. I think he's going to get real big. You got to remember, Abdullah Mason only like 19. You look like you barked at the mail, man. That was ass. That was, if you're going to throw some shots, throw some shots. Throw some funny shit. That was ass. You look like you bark at the mail, man. You look like you dance for change. Get the fuck out of here. I can't even see you, but I could tell you ugly. My two favorite boxers ever are Terrence Crawford and Joe Frazier. I told y'all we got all these T Bud lovers in here, man. Devin versus Regis, how you feel about that? I think Devin 8 4 on the cards. 8 to 4, clean up. Clean up, John. I think Devin went by a clean up, Mo. Straight up, straight like that. Nice little Chipotle platter. Let's go ahead and put this to rest. Let me see. Who you think getting in there with Tank next? I don't know. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna look. I, I heard they. I heard they've been negotiating with the kid. Uh, we talked about this earlier with uh, what's his name? Lil B Hop. I'm trying to think. Oh, man. Colbert, Christopher Colbert. Greg, what's the word, G? Who you got? Shakur versus Lomo and why? Shakur, first of all, Shakur and Lomo, great fight. Amazing fight. If they put it together, I'm, I'm going to be definitely happy for both fighters. For Shakur to be on that stage, to get to really show what he could do, for Lomo to, to redeem himself if possible. But I think Lomo is getting old. I think he is slowing down. And Shakur... Shakur is a true chess player. So is Lomo. Speed on both sides, accuracy on both sides. But I think the one mistake that Lomo I have to pay for is the jumping. He jumped in a lot. With that being said, I think Shakur I make him pay for that and and beat him on the cards nine to three. Shakur being composed and relaxed. 
great fighter, young. I think he has a great chance. No more getting old, baby. No more ain't the same no more. No more is a great fighter, but he ain't the same no more. Greg, remember a while back they were saying Tank was going to fight Keith Thurman? I think I remember them mentioning that. I'm not sure. I ain't going to lie to y'all. But seeing what Tank did to Barrios and seeing how Thurman did with Barrios, I think Tank a clip. I think Tank will clip Keith Thurman. True. And then you gotta, and then you gotta remember Shakur being Southpaw is going to give Lomachenko more trouble. Yeah, you know I mean. I think Shakur being Southpaw would give would give uh Lomo a lot of trouble. Southpaws don't like Southpaws. <clears throat> That's some real shit. But ladies and gentlemen, listen, I'm Greg Hackett. I appreciate you all for tapping in. I appreciate the likes, the shares, the subscribers. I appreciate the donations. I fucks with y'all. This shit is only gonna grow because of y'all. Keep supporting me. I'm going to keep putting on for the people coming through here, answering as many questions as I can, keeping shit real as possible. Um, and, you know, we just going to gonna work on our studio presence, see if we can get some better cameras and shit like that. I'll give you different angles. The podcast, we working on it. You know what I mean? We just want shit to be right. I appreciate y'all, man. Nothing but love. I mean, y'all don't got to be on here with me, fucking with me. And I ain't got to be on here doing this shit, but... We all together on this shit. Let's get it. Greg Hackett 86 on Instagram. Greg Hackett 215 on Twitter. Greg Hackett on, on Facebook. Yeah, I will be at the MGM. Appreciate y'all. Thank you.